All Bladebridge configurations are funded by partners on behalf of end user projects and are not an endorsement by Bladebridge or its team members. Hi, and welcome to Bladebridge Informatica Repointing demo. Uh, today, I'm going to demonstrate how to repoint an existing Informatica code to, um, to BigQuery database. Uh, the repointing is accomplished by utilizing the utility called BB Info Repoint. If I run it without any parameters, it shows me help. And the, the um, more detailed documentation is available on BladeBridges uh, portal. The most important arguments are the license key file, a single input XML file from Informatica, or a folder with multiple XML files. Also, the output file. Um, actually output folder where the converted code will uh, will be generated and minus u with a conf configuration file. Uh, so minus u option is very important one because it tells the converter how exactly to convert the code. Now the original file that I have is stored right here in, in my info reach folder. And it looks like this typical Informatica um, file with, with the mappings and sessions and so on. And my output file will be stored in Informatica repointed folder. Currently, it is empty. So I'm going to go ahead and run my converter. And one of the things that I'm providing, again, is the configuration file. Uh, called ETL repoint Netiza to BigQuery. So this particular example will convert Netiza uh, and Informatica combination to Informatica and BigQuery combination. So all the objects, all the SQL statements that are coming from Netiza will be converted to BigQuery. Now, it doesn't really matter for the converter whether we're converting from Netiza or from um, Teradata, DB2, Oracle, etc. Everything is really driven by configuration files. All our uh, configurations are externalized, so it is up to the customer how to convert the code. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. The conversion is done, and now I have my output file. So I'm going to bring it into the editor. And now, instead of seeing Netiza components, I'm going to see BigQuery components. So the data types get converted. Besides converting data types, um, all the places where Netiza is referenced uh, gets converted to BigQuery. Uh, one of the most important aspects of the conversion is addition of the metadata extensions. This is something that is mandatory. So without these the code will still uh, still get imported into uh, Informatica or Puzzler. However, you won't be able to run it without these instructions. Uh, and that's something that the converter will generate. Besides, besides generating or besides converting sources and targets, the converter will also penetrate the, um, the sessions and uh, SQL statements that are Netiza specific. So for example, in my source code, I have function reference called months between. And in my converted code, I do not see that function. Instead, it was replaced by an equivalent. And that equivalent can be found in our configuration file. So really quickly, the way our configuration files are organized is that you have several sections. And in the top section, you tell the converter what you want to trap, what is a candidate for conversion. And those could be your sources, your targets, your source and target fields, um, your session attributes, and several other things. Um, and then you have a set of actions associated with those traps. So for example, I can set the database type or, or, um, or data type. I can change database name. I can plug in writer template or reader templates. Uh, I can change session attributes um, and so on. I can spec
specify my data type mappings. So this is all customizable and convert comes with defaults. I can also provide my folder mapping. So for example, I can tell the convert then whenever it encounters EDW jobs folder, it it can it will uh, it will change that to BQ EDW. Right, right there. Um, another thing that I can tell the converter is how to penetrate SQL statements and how to convert them. So, uh, for example, here in this file, I can tell the converter how to convert the months months between function. If I open this up. Sorry. Um, let me tease it to BigQuery. So if I look for months between entry. So the converter converted that to date diff and it changed the argument placement. So if I go back to my convert XML file, look for date diff, this is where uh, the new function call will reside. Now I'm gonna import the generated file into Informatica. Before doing that, I'm gonna go into my target folder, and it is empty right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and import that. So I'm importing the file from info repointed folder, and I'm doing it through the PM wrap utility. So it tells me how many got, got processed, zero errors, which is the most important metric. Warnings can be ignored. And now if I go back into Informatica repository, I'll see all my entries in here. My shortcuts, sources, targets, mappings, etc. cetera. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and open up the designer. And open the mapping. So my sources and my targets got converted to BigQuery. I can also tell the converter to convert all the lookups that are relevant uh, for conversion to ODBC. This is the simplest way to, to do lookups against BigQuery. Uh, now note that the SQL statement that used to be in the source qualifier is no longer in this, in this source qualifier. The reason for that is this is an application source qualifier and Informatica does not provide the attribute to hold the SQL statement. So instead, we need to go into the workflow manager and if I open up the session, I'll see my SQL statement in there. And it's right here. And this is my date underscore diff function call. So this is how the converter converts the code. It basically takes the input source file, the configuration file, the license key, and produces the XML file that is importable into the target environment. Now you can uh, run the converter in bulk across multiple XML files. The converter will also generate commands that you can use with PM wrap or PM CMD to import and to execute the generated code. Uh, we also provide, uh, as Bladebridge, we, we provide a set of queries that you can easily use to access the Informatica repository as you're doing the runs, as you're doing imports, to get statistics of how many uh, sessions workflows were uh, imported and how many were run successfully or or with errors and what type what types of errors got produced and so on all that statistics would be provided um, by accessing Informatica repository using using the queries that come with the converter. Thank you.